So we're gonna go see a patient right now. So she's, you know, status post, uh, a lot of care of, of different entities in, in uh, the blood vessels of her brain. She has multiple aneurysms. Uh, she had one rupture that we treated with coil embolization. And then she had two others. One has treated with uh, open craniotomy for clipping. And then the other one, because it's so small and it's in a, a place where we should just follow it and watch it, we're just following that, uh, that, uh, that aneurysm along. So she's doing quite well. She's great. So we're going to go talk to her and say hi. She just had an angiogram, a follow-up angio, just to look at everything and make sure everything was stable and that the coils and, uh, and the clip and everything are great, as well as the aneurysm that's still there is stable and no changes. How are you? I'm fine. No problems at Good. Um, Feeling great? I mean, I had no problems before I came in, and I, I really feel like I don't have any now. But Good. Um, the only thing I did want to talk to you about was the um, sodium. Remember, we talked about mm -hmm. that. Um, it's gone from 129 when I saw you okay. the, on the 22nd. She has redone it, and it's 139. Are you doing anything different with your diet uh, and medication? Not really, because I hadn't been having any salt or taking, you know, I don't have anything with salt in it, and I don't add salt to anything. Okay. But remember, I told you she had taken me off the uh, HGTZ. Mm -hmm. So I'm on the blood pressure pill without the diuretic. So that's probably, you're getting back to normal because you changed your meds. Okay. So that sounds okay. I okay. mean, we didn't know if that was a big change from 129 to 139. She was fine with it, but she wanted me to ask. It's, you. it's so when it comes to sodium and those kind of things, it's, it's, that's, that's, it's not about the number as well, as much as it is about the rate of change. 129 to 139, that is, uh, it's, that's a, not, it's a big, big ish change. Okay. As long as it's slow and gradual. And it sounds like it has been because if it wasn't, things would be different right now. So okay. if you're fine and it's 139, okay. the other thing is, you never know. Labs have a plus minus to them. You know, the 129 might have been a little higher than it actually was. The 139 right. might be right. a little lower than it is. Right. So we might be very close to the same range anyway, but it's in the right direction. Okay. 129 is a little low. 139 is fine. Okay. Okay. And so That's I think fine. keep doing what you're doing and just follow up with, with her to measure okay. your labs. Okay. And I think that's a pretty okay. safe way to do it. All right. So do you think the headache that I had prior to the angiogram, not that the angiogram fixed it, but do you think that that headache... I fixed everything. Well, that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. Right, right, right. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um, do you think that had to do with the low sodium? It could. It yeah, could. I mean, it could, it, was, it's hard to say. It could be a headache. lot of different things. Just the whole side of my face, and it did concern me because it was just side of my face. And there was nothing going on with your sinuses. There was a lot of pollen and allergies yeah. and all that stuff going on right now well, at the same time. Well, a lot going on with my sinuses. Right. And, so, just, and this is that time of year where that is a big problem over the last okay. few months. All possible. Okay. Either way, are you having headaches now? I've had no headaches since I've seen you. Okay. So it may... Let's just, all we can do is monitor things. It could have something, it could have been the, the sodium. Let's yeah, see how your sodium is and how your headaches are. Okay. It could be sinuses. I don't, it's not from any of the, the vasculature. So right. after your angiogram, so there right. was, there was no fistula, which is right. what we, one of the things thing. we we're looking right. for. The coiled uh, aneurysm is okay. coiled and stable and no recanalization. So that looks great. Okay. Nothing more we need to do with that. No what? I'm sorry. No, no reopening at the base. Oh, no okay. recanalization. Okay. Okay. Uh, the clipped aneurysm is sealed, nothing there, and then the little guy yeah, on the left side in the front, the stable, nothing going on. It's okay. still little and, and inconsequential. Okay. And I don't think we need to do a thing about it. Okay. And, you know, and if we, there's a million things we could do, but we don't need to. Yeah. I think we can just follow it because it's been stable for a very long time. Right, right, right. And okay. the rate of the rate of risk of it bleeding is very, very low. So okay. I think we can continue to follow it. So. Okay. How did you heal up the the, the puncture site? No problem whatsoever. Okay. Yes, fine. All right. Yeah. All right, and. So we're looking at a CAT scan. Yeah. How do we want to follow up? So I'm, we're 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 so far out now. Yeah, never, ever, ever, ever. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go out to dinner, but I don't want to do a <laughs> game. I like that. Perfect. It's a deal. Um, if you had, I mean, you 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 were comfortable with just following with the CAT scan, right? And then. I was yeah, until, like, yeah, we had an issue, yeah. But, well, so yeah. the CAT scan, the CAT scan, remember, it came up and they said, okay, is there an issue? Is there a fissure there? Is that normal? Because right. it was on the opposite side of everything. There isn't, so I think we can go back to CAT scans now because, and we can probably start to space them out even more. Yeah. That's what you said to me. I don't remember that because I might have been a little foggy. Sure. But she told me that you said three years. I think we're, I'm okay with that if you if you like. I don't think we can say never follow up oh, again. Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't want to do that. But I think because we have the little guy that we're watching, I think every three years is good. Okay. So the CAT scan is, there's going to be a lot of artifacts around the coil mass. Okay. 
pan around the clip because that metal is going to create artifacts when the CAT scan happens. So okay. what we're using a CAT scan to do primarily is to look at the little guy that is, you know, by himself, the right, little Anderson right. that is untreated. Okay. And that's fine because that's really why we're doing it because we've proven that the clip and the coils have been stable for so many years. It's unlikely that anything's okay. going to happen with them. Okay. So the only thing that we would see on the clip or the coils is something very obvious, some big portion of regrowth or recanalization would happen. And that's really, really unlikely this far okay. out with okay. this much imaging. So I think a CAT scan is fine. Okay. A CAT, well, it's a CTA. Years. Three years of CTA. CTA. Okay. All right. And then, do you have a, um, as far going back to the sodium? Yeah. Do you have a recommendation for how how often to monitor that? Because I know seasonally it, there's some recommendation. I so nothing nothing hard and fast for a rule with with sodium. How often do you normally see her? Um, like well, I see her for my yearly physicals, but I usually end up with something in between. That okay. I, have to see her and she I would say. So let's say this this last blood work, the follow-up between the two was about like a month or so, between the, the 129 and yeah, 139? that was right, because she was checking. Well, you know what it was? I was getting... I was two to three weeks, and I was getting clear okay. the angiogram, so... Okay, so two, so, okay, so two to three weeks, that's tight. So let's say you're on new meds. We don't know what it's going to do with your electrolytes. Okay. I would say about a three-month. Let's If you do a three-month follow-up in blood dryer... She'll see how your blood pressure is anyway, because okay. that's right. something you want to. Right. You probably monitor more often oh, than that anyway. What? I am, yeah, because it's a, a new med. Uh, we I do, um, but also um, now that I think about it, I see her every six months for my for my blood work for my blood pressure. Uh, blood pressure. Okay. Yeah, and then if there's an issue, she'll take the blood. Then. All right. So I would, and you since you've just switched to a new med, I think maybe a three month, like half that time, a three month follow up, okay. which I'm okay with with the sodium as long okay. as you. Stick to your normal diet, and, right, and you do right, it that right. way. And your blood pressure is okay. okay. Uh, and it, if it's the same, still in range, the one thirty nine ish range, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, I think you guys can start spacing it out as needed from there. Get back okay. to your routine that you were doing with her before. Okay, that's fine. fine. Straightforward. <laughs> All right, <laughs> easy. Like so we're not to see you guys for three years. That's great. You better still be here. <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll be around. All right. It's wonderful Thanks to see so you. Much, All right, thank you. Good.